Hey guys, it's LA Cartier and I'm back at it again with another video. Back at it again with another video. And I'm back at it again with another video. <laughs> guys, I'm here. How are you? I've had something in this eye. It's been annoying me for time. Um, but yeah, guys, this one is really different. This one is just a full-blown rant. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, because I'm not really too sure what's going on. Do you get what I mean? I'm not really too sure what's going on. Like, Boris doesn't know what he's doing, guys. Boris doesn't know what he's doing. He's got me buying snakes. Do you know what I mean? Like, bored in the house, bored in the house, then I'm in the house, bored, and I'm bored in the house, and I'm in the house, bored, bored in the house, and I'm in the house, bored, bored in the house, and I'm in the house, bored. Basically, he's got me bored in the house, and I'm in the house, bored. I don't know what to do. So I sit in my house sometimes, and I think to myself, like, what should I do? And I think of all the options that there are, do you know what I mean? Like, wash clothes, the clothes are washed, because nobody ain't even going out nowhere, so there's not even no clothes to be washed, you know, like that. Because who's really putting on clothes? Like, I live in my dressing gown more time. You lot are lucky that you got the little Back to the Future Primarni t-shirt, do you get what I'm saying? Because no one ain't going nowhere. So I can't wash clothes. The house is tidy, so there's no tidying to do. I sit here and I wonder, shall I watch TV? Then I'm like, but who even watches TV? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, who actually watches TV? I'm not even too sure why there's a thing called TV license still because I'm sure nobody pays it because I'm sure nobody really watches it because all I do is watch YouTube, do you know what I mean? Not saying that I don't pay for the TV license because that's not what I'm saying. But in general, think about it. But, um... Yeah, like, there's nothing to do. It's just boring. Like, I'm tired of being tired. And there's no reason to be tired. <laughs> do you get that one? <laughs> do you get that one? Listen to what I said. I'm tired of being tired. And there's no reason for me to be tired. Because there's nothing to do, Boris. Because I'm at home. Like, there's only so many videos that I can watch on the YouTube do you get what I'm saying? Like, I go on there and you, you find me watching videos like, how do you build this bridge? You'll catch me watching, like, the two little Filipino, Asian-looking men that build houses and stuff from scratch and the houses have got swimming pools and stuff and they make it out of mud and sticks and stuff. These are the things that you got me watching. Like, Boris, you've got me watching, you know the show, How It's Made? You got me watching how they make egg um, containers, Boris. Like, I don't think it's fair. I fully don't think it's fair. The other day I was watching how to make toilet roll. Did you actually know that the toilet roll comes in one long, long, long roll like this and then it goes through the machine and then the machine goes chop, 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 fully satisfying. This is what you got me doing because of the whole pandemic. Like, I, I'm not even... I'm not even too sure what you want me to do now, Boris. I'm not even lying. And I'm fully talking to you because somebody better send this to number 10. Do you get what I mean? Because it's just ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I call my friends, I'm like, yo, what's happening? They're like, nothing. What's good? Nothing. More time we just sit there listening to each other's YouTube in the background. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, she's probably thinking, what happened to this girl? Like, what was she listening to? Like, because it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Like, it's probably just ridiculous. Like, you can't go nowhere and... You can't see no one. Furthermore, you want to call your brethren and say, yeah, I'm coming around. But more time, the brethren's even moving a little bit funny because they don't even know if you've got the Rona. Do you get what I'm saying? People don't just want you in their yard like that no more. It's not, it's not free living. It's not free living. It's not free living. I feel like I'm in a third world country. And it's not fair because I fully was paying my whole taxes before the corona came and mashed up everything. Do you get what I'm saying? I think it's out of order, man. I actually think it's out of order. And it's like, the man come now, Boris, on the TV, and he's come to make a flipping speech telling me that on my birthday, on March the 8th, you will now be able to send your children to school. Thanks, Boris. Thanks. What else is there, though? Like, 
what are you trying to get me for my birthday? Because right now, Boris, I'm not even going to lie. You're moving like a man that's getting on my nerves. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I'm asking you what's going on and you're not able to give me no response. I'm asking you again and you're telling me bare lies. And I know it's lies because on Monday you're telling me one thing and then on Wednesday you're telling me another thing. It's not really matching what was going on on Tuesday. Why? Why are you looking confused like you've just woken up? This is why when I'm asking you questions, you don't know the answer and you're sending me to the next man. I just think it's out of order. I'm not even going to lie, I was sitting in my house, I was like, I'm going to do a video. I'm going to do the video and cuss off Boris. I'm fully going to do the video and cuss him off because he deserves the cussing. Contankerous old man. But he's having baby. He's having baby. You don't even know how to run the country. How are you going to look after the poor little boy? And do you know what makes it worse? People were like, oh, LA, like, on um, Wednesday or on whatever day. What day? On, see, I don't even know what day it is today. Look at me. A mess. A whole mess. A whole mess. So anyway, today's Monday. Right. So people are messaging me like, oh, don't worry, LA. On Monday, Boris is going to make a, um, an announcement on the podium thing. Yeah, he's going to come up and he's going to make an announcement and he's going to tell us how he's loosening the restrictions that we're under right now. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, then cool. Like, let me see because I'm ready to, do you get me? It's my birthday on March the 8th. Do you understand? So I'm like, okay, cool. Let me wait and see what my man's got to say because my man has to be coming with something now. Do you know, do you know what I mean? Every day you're coming with some long story. I told you he moves like a what less boyfriend. What less. Every day come with your long story about why your pocket is dry. That This is what's going on. Anyway... So I'm there like, okay, cool. Let me just, you know, wait until Monday. Boris is going to come with something. You get me? My G, Boris and that. I might switch up and, and you get me? Have me on his side and that. No, no. Boris is coming to tell me that um, we're going to be able to meet up with one friend. We've been doing that. I'm not even going to lie. Boris, we've been doing that. We've been out here breaking the rules. We've been doing that still. I'm not even going to lie, my G. We've been doing that. We've been linking the one bridge in. We're fed up of the one bridging now. Boris is coming to tell me that I'm allowed to now go to the park and drink um, a cup of coffee on the bench with my friend. Boris, we've been doing that. We've been drinking bear things on the bench. Bear things. Ray and nephew, apple juice, little JD and coke and them man there. Do you get what I'm saying? Soon, you're going to have us a coffee... You're going to have us on the bench drinking the K. You know, special K. Yeah, that that's what I'm going to be drinking on the on the bench soon if you don't fix up. Boris is there on the news talking about, oh, yeah, soon by the end of April. April? You know, <laughs> you know when, um, when, what's his name? When Soldier Boy said, Drake? This is how I'm looking at the man. April? Like, April what, brother? April what? April, you're going to be allowed to meet up with six people. People have been doing it. You need to stop now. This needs to stop. Because I'm telling you something now. If you don't stop, you're going to see a lot of people walking down West Green Road naked. Okay? Because they're going to have lost it. Do you understand that? You're going to see a lot of crazy people. All I was looking for was the little piece of freedom. You know, like, just the ability to be like, I want to put on a little heel and, you get me, step out, so outside. I want to do up outside, like the yardies them. I want to do up outside. And you're not letting me do up the outside, Boris. And it's, it's annoying, because I said to everybody already, you see, after this lockdown, my slogan is going to be mind your business. Because when you see me and I'm on the high road going to Chick King and I've got on the six inch heels and the one shoulder top and the, um, the rouge, rouged um, skirt, yeah, don't question me, mind your business. Don't ask me where I'm going and where I'm coming from because I'm going to Chick King and I'm probably leaving there to go back to my house, but I'm wearing the heels. When you see me in Westfield and I've fully got on the heels, mind your business because I haven't been able to put on heels for a long time. Furthermore, by the time that I put on the heels, I'm going to be walking like a, a, a baby deer or something that's just been born. Do you know what I mean? No, it's rude, no, it's rude. 
Sorry, it's rude, Boris. You're very rude. Do you want to know why I'm actually vexed though? Let me explain to you why I'm upset. Because we've been in this thing now for what? Like, I was in Jamaica in March for my birthday, yeah? So it's coming up to a, a year now because we got stuck there for a couple of days and when we came back, it was straight into lockdown, yeah? Cool. So watch this now. This is coming around to 12 months and you've got me sitting down in my yard like I'm riding a full bird. Like I was fully out here in the fields with the trap phone, in Cunch, doing up Bando Baby 29. Do you get what I'm saying? Like you fully got me here locked up in the can. Like if everyone else wasn't also locked up in the can, I would full blown expect people to be out here with the free LA t-shirts right now. Because I feel like I'm in prison and it's not fair. Because Boris... You could have told me beforehand that this is what you was planning to do. Because the only reason why I don't want to go jail really and truly, yeah, is because I don't really want to miss out when everyone else is having the fun. Do you get what I'm saying? So if I had known that this was going to be the case, I would have sat down and I would have thought about it. Like, what crime can I do that's going to give me like a 12 month, 18 month sentence so that by the time I'm ready to come out and pop champagne outside the jail and you get me, shake, I, I, that man's ready to turn up. Do you get what I'm saying? I would have been ready. Everyone would have had their outfits ready for Boris to come and make the next announcement and that, and then everyone would have pulled up. Do you get what I'm saying? But no, you got me sitting down, doing up jail inside my own house. Like, come on, make it make sense. And I'm telling you now, I would have found the perfect crime. Because right now I'm sitting down and I'm watching the Instagram and I'm seeing man run up in Chanel's store, teeth in all the bags inside of Chanel with the balaclava. And I'm thinking, my mask can cover up to the same place where they're covered up to and I know where the Chanel store is. Robbers holding up the Chanel store in Soho in Manhattan. All of it caught on surveillance camera. They got away with $160,000 worth of items. Do you know what I mean? Because now I'm starting to think when will I ever work again? Like, but um, in all seriousness though, um, mental health Guys, I, I joke about it all the time, yeah, but it's a serious thing. I hope that you guys are looking after your mental health because right now in this pandemic, I'm telling you, it can really drive you to, to, to some extent. If you don't laugh about it, you'll cry. So I'm choosing the first option, do you know what I mean? But um, yeah, just, I don't know, guys. I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know what we're going to do because I know everyone's done already rinsed out Moesha, Moesha and the sister sister on the Netflix, the little dry black people program that they tried to put on there for us because they felt sorry for us during the pandemic cheek but yeah guys i'll be back again with another video you know my thing already when i feel like it when i think of something i'll be back don't be stressing me i'm joking i'll be back soon guys